Hey guys, Randy Young here. Under the Radar at the Tribeca Festival for the new film, the red carpet premiere of the new documentary, The Cave of Adullam. I'm about to talk to some of the talent from the film, including Lawrence Fishburne. Here we go. Yes. This, is a, this is a really exciting time for you, I bet. Yes, it's very <laughs> exciting and um, just taking it in and living in the moment, yes. What was it like bringing your, this fantastic story to real life, to, to the screen? Ooh, um, I had a taste of it when the video went viral in 2016, okay. and it has almost 200 million views. And at that moment, I'm like, well, man, I just, I just coached my recruit through his emotions to break this board for his test. But the very next day, our offices at the union nonprofit, we had to shut them down because we were overwhelmed with calls across the world from men. Okay. Crying to our women staff as well, saying they just want to be free. I wish my coach would have had patience with me. Okay. And so. This is really, it's been in the making. I, I, it's kind of say it's been in the making, but on this level, to really go in depth of four of our boys, their stories, to understand that there's a cause and effect to every behavior. Okay. So now a parent will say, well, well, my son may exude ADHD symptoms, but it doesn't really mean that he has ADHD. Okay. Because you can look at trauma, so I often say we have to stop allowing trauma to time travel. Okay. So it's very hard to stay in the moment yeah. if we're living from the past. So it's just a, I'm excited because now the world gets to see what made those viral videos and then see the difference between just being a masculine male and a comprehensive man. Very philosophical for sure. Yes. Um, how did it get the attention of Lawrence Fishburne? I'm going to make as short as I can make okay. it. Um, Roy Bank is a producer. He contacted me when the video went viral okay. along with maybe three other producers. I chose Roy, he was patient, and just said, hey man, you let me know. All right. Fast forward, Roy, somehow Lawrence saw the sizzle reel from Roy. All right. And Lawrence was like, where is this at? I need to get on board with this, yeah. and I want to support this, because this is something boys need, like a rite of passage or initiation into manhood. Okay. And so that's how all that connected, and um, Lawrence is a martial artist as well. And we have similar father wounds as well, so okay. it were connections on so many levels. Are we going to get uh, boys' centers all across the nation? Yeah, that's that's the goal. Uh, once we get the resources, we have the curriculum, but we need the staff. Yeah, you know. And so once we can get, well, I'm the looking staff, actually. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So once we get the staff, right, we can replicate first in our own city. Okay. Because then we we'll know if it can scale. Okay. Then we can trouble uh, troubleshoot there and tweak. Then we can go national, but we just need help with staff. We're a small nonprofit that okay. does a lot, but I'm um, hoping people who are uh, philanthropic wants to donate and yeah. see the, help the vision get yeah. worldwide. And they can check out the website. Yeah, for that. go to the website right. uh, savingboys.com. Savingboys. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations. You, scripted or non-scripted? What do you look for when telling a dynamic story? <laughs> it's, you know. There's no way to sort of predict what that's going to be. I mean, you read something and you like it or you, or you don't. You know? okay. And over the, the decades of your great career, what are some of your favorite roles? Well, I like, uh, I love playing Othello. I loved the character I played in King of New York. I, I mean, I loved um, playing Justice Thurgood Marshall on stage. I mean, Morpheus is a great character as well. I mean, I, I actually like them all. I wouldn't have done them if I didn't like them. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Yeah. What do you look forward to playing in the future? As many parts as I can. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, if you want to see previous episodes of Unger the Radar, just visit the YouTube channel, Unger the Radar. That's Unger with a G. Uh, please subscribe and share. You can also check out new episodes of Unger the Radar on Manhattan Neighborhood Network on the Lifestyle Channel uh, every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern. And you can also check out more coverage of the Tribeca Festival this year only on the YouTube channel.